Hello Nijay, welcome to another edition of Team Talk. Before we look at the weeks ahead, I wonder if we could just look at this week that's gone by and relatively speaking, it was an action-packed week. We kicked off our Tuesday night prayer meetings once again on Zoom at 7 p.m. We had drive-through coffee on Sunday morning and it was so good to see so many of you there. Uh, we ended our current preaching series, Annas Mirabilis, A Call to a Wonderful Year. We finished that off with Zoom communion together afterwards. And so it was a busy but good week. And so as we look forward to the weeks ahead, I don't know if you know this, but according to the Christian calendar, today is Ash Wednesday. And you might be saying, what is Ash Wednesday? Well, Ash Wednesday is the Wednesday that is 46 days before Easter Sunday. It's also the Wednesday that kicks off Lent and the season and the practice and the celebration of Lent, which I'll tell you more about in a moment. But it's also in and of itself, Ash Wednesday, a call to come and to reflect upon one's life in anticipation of Christ's death and resurrection, celebrating that, to come and reflect on our lives and to repent of any rubbish that might be floating around there. And so I know that we're not overly orthodox or religious as a community, and I know we don't necessarily practice these celebrations or these Christian dates, but it doesn't mean there isn't truth and a weightiness to them. And so in light of coming and pondering this, I've decided that in the next 46 days, I'm going to practice Lent. I'm going to come and embrace Lent. And, and you might say, well, what is Lent? Well, traditionally, Lent is coming and giving up something, whether it's meat or chocolate or wine or coffee, or whether it's internet, TV or social media, it's giving something up. And in the absence of that, to come and to redirect that longing towards God in preparation for the celebration of His death and resurrection. But as I come and I celebrate Lent this year, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. And I want to challenge you to come and do it with me a little bit differently. Instead of giving something up, why don't we take something up? Why don't we come and do something? And so, and so in thinking about this, I stumbled across a group of people called 40 Acts. And what they have done uh, in the context of Lent for the last 10 years is they've put together uh, 40 Acts of Kindness that build up on, on each other, one after another, uh, that take you through the season of Lent, that you come and you give something back and you act out kindly towards your community. And so I've decided to do this. And if you would like to join me, you can go to newgen.co.za forward slash 40 x 40 A-C-T-S. And you can click there and you'll see a PDF with a guideline through all 40 acts for the next while. Uh, and you can download that or print it out, whatever it might be. And you'll see there's a green, uh, orange and red uh, category there of what you could do on each day depending on your time or your financial situation there's something that fits everyone and where everyone's at and so that's what I'm doing for the next 46 days Monday through to Saturday in anticipation of Easter Sunday I invite you to come and join me God bless you